Hey everyone, my name is Emmy, and today I'm going to be showing you what is in my dance bag. Nobody asked for this video, but I kind of just wanted to make it for fun. Um, I've been super passionate about dance since a young age. I actually trained for four years at a pre-professional ballet school, and I've also done jazz, contemporary, and competitive dance too. So yeah, I don't want to bore you with a super long introduction, so let's get right into it and take a look at what's in my dance bag. Alrighty, so I keep all of my stuff in one of these Kankin, Konkin, I don't actually know how to pronounce it, I'm so sorry. These bags that were super trendy in like 2016. It's a really comfy backpack and it holds a ton of stuff as you can see. The shape is actually really convenient, it makes it super easy to stack all my things. And yeah, I'm gonna start off with this little front pocket. The first thing in my front pocket is this little zipper pouch. Um, oh wait, I gotta blur that because <laughs> it's got my old studio name on it. Fun fact, I was bullied for four years at the dance studio that I used to attend, so I no longer go there. But this little pouch is from one of our shows. They used to give us like a little gift after each show, so that's what this is from. I usually just keep money in there. Got a couple extra bobby pins. You should definitely keep money with you in your dance bag just in case someone can't pick you up after your practice or after a show. Or if you're like me and you're hypoglycemic, you might want to buy a snack between shows or between between rehearsals just so you don't pass out if you forgot to bring food. So yeah, I always keep money with me. The next thing in here is an EpiPen. Fun. <laughs> um, that's why I wear this too, because I have food allergies to a lot of different things and I don't want my throat to swell up. Anaphylaxis is never fun, so I keep this with me because I don't want to die at dance class if I were to eat something. <laughs> and the final thing is this little container. I don't know if you can even see this, but... It just slides open and closed, and I usually keep jewelry in here. I don't know if your studio requires you to do this, but we always have to take off jewelry. I have this necklace that I wear at all times, so this has to come off for class. And the reason I keep this thing in my bag to store my jewelry is because I actually had a necklace stolen at my old dance school. I left it under my dance bag on a chair, thinking no one's gonna touch that, and then I come back after class and it's gone. So. <laughs> I did not want that to happen again, so now I keep my jewelry in a little container while I'm dancing. That's everything in the front pocket. We're gonna move on to this big pocket. Okay, so the first thing I have in my bag is my comp team jacket. This is just a nice little black <laughs> competition team jacket from when I competed. It's got my name embroidered on the front. I don't know if you can see that. It's purple. It's not really showing up, but it's there. And I can't show you the back again because it's got my old studio name on it. This used to be covered with pins and awards and patches, but I actually have them sitting over here on a shelf. Um, I also have a pair of black jazz shoes. Only wear these when I perform, so I don't really know why they're in here. I never wear these for class because they're the heels tend to slide off. Um, and these are from Block. The next thing I have in my bag is this thing. This is called a roller. I got this on Amazon a couple years ago. It's from the brand called The Stick, and it is the most amazing muscle roller. If you're ever sore or tight after class, just kind of take your leg, <laughs> roll out your calves, roll out your thighs and quads. This thing is amazing. It helps prevent soreness, and yeah, it's just great. Highly recommend if you're a dancer. Next, I have this little, I don't know what you would call it. It's, it, it's like a dancer survival kit, kind of. Um, if I open this little blue bag up, I have my point shoe sewing thread. I've got some thread and a couple needles in here. And this little container is from Suffolk, the point shoe company. I've also got this little container. In here I've just got some extra bobby pins because if you dance, you know, you lose bobby pins like crazy and you need them for ballet class. So I keep this in here. I've also got band-aids and some wet wipes for, I don't know, injuries or whatever. I also keep a nail clipper and that might sound kind of weird, but if you're on point, you know how painful it is to dance if your nails aren't super short. And so I always keep a nail clipper so I can just run to the bathroom, quickly trim my nails if that's an issue before class. And the final thing in this little bag is a pair of mini scissors. I highly, highly, highly recommend that you keep scissors in your dance bag or at least in your bag for shows or competitions. I can't even tell you how many times I've been the girl to save someone's costume or cut off a tag because I'm the only one who keeps scissors with me. Highly recommend. <laughs> and that's it for this little bag. Next up are my point shoes. 
Obviously, these are an essential being a ballet dancer. Um, I wear Russian Point Entrada Pros and I love them. Entradas and Entrada Pros are literally the only point shoes that work for my feet and they also go out of stock constantly so it's always hard for me to get shoes. But these fit fantastic. I love them. Best point shoes I've ever had. I've had like 15 pairs of this exact type of shoe because I love them so much. As for my ribbons, I really like these. I think they're from Grishko. It's either Grishko or Gainer Minden. They're the like full stretch ribbons. Highly recommend. And obviously if I'm going to be on point, I need toe pads. I really, really like these blue gel ones. They're from the dance store in Los Angeles. That's where I get my point shoes usually. And these are just fantastic. Let me show you real quick. They're kind of covered in glitter at the moment because I wore them for a show where I had glitter on my point shoes and glitter on my sleeves. I could not recommend these enough to anyone beginning point or advanced point students like myself. They're great, they're thick, but not too thick. They're super, super comfy. Next up, I have this little black skirt. It's just a comfy little pull-on ballet skirt for technique classes. This was actually sewn by the grandma of my old ballet teacher, Helena. Hi, Helena, if you're watching this. You're probably not, but I love you, and I really miss your class. <laughs> so comfy, it's got a nice little elastic top, and I love this one, I wear it all the time. Next up, I have this little Capizio blue skirt. I love this one. I actually bought this in New York in 2016 and it's like the nicest fabric ever. I love this thing. I've had it for years and I wear it constantly. Next up I have a pair of half soles. I think these are from Capizio too. They're either Capizio or Block. Um, these are really comfy but I don't personally like to wear them. I think I got them like a half size too big so they kind of slide off when I turn. But this kind of little half sole foot undie. I've heard so many different names for them. They're great for turning if you want to be barefoot but you don't want to get stuck while you're doing pirouettes or fouettes or anything. These are great. Um, again, I just think mine are a little bit too big. Next up, I have my flat shoes. Um, I wear these for technique classes or anytime I don't have my point shoes or when my point shoes are too dead to wear. I will wear these. They're pretty wrinkled up because they were at the bottom of my bag. Uh, and these are from Sodansa. Highly recommend canvas flat shoes over leather. I hate leather shoes. <laughs> Next up, I have a tennis ball. I highly, highly, highly recommend that you keep a tennis ball or a dryer ball or like a racket ball. Some kind of small round object <laughs> in your dance bag. It's great to roll out your foot. Like if this is your foot, you just kind of plop it on top, <laughs> roll around. It's a great massage for your arches and it can help improve your point. Next up I have this little bag. Um, it says Manhattan on it. This is uh, girly things, like period products, sanitary supplies, whatever you want to call it. I don't think I really need to explain what's in here. I've just got some pads, tampons, and an extra change of underwear in case anyone needs it. I don't know why you would need underwear because you generally don't wear underwear under tights, but whatever. <laughs> the final thing I have in my dance bag is my flattened jazz shoes. <laughs> these are filthy. I actually really need to clean these. These are super old too. They're from like my freshman year of high school. And yeah, they're pretty, pretty well used. Fun story about these. Every single show I did at my old studio, I'd always have a jazz number and we had to wear tan shoes usually. One of these dance moms who really didn't like me. It was kind of the little, almost like a door guard or a bouncer kind of for the stage. Like before you went on, she would check your entire costume, make sure you don't have nail polish on or jewelry or anything. And she would always check our shoes to see if our shoes were clean or if we had new shoes for performances. Because if you don't dance, um, you're supposed to wear new shoes for performances so that they don't look dirty. I never did that. <laughs> and this lady would always get on my case about my shoes being dirty. And I just kind of have to tell her, like, I don't want to buy new shoes just for a show. I'm sorry, that's an unnecessary expense. These ones work fine. And you can't really even tell under the stage lights. It's not a big deal at all. So yeah, that's my jazz shoes. And that is everything that's in my bag. Usually I keep a water bottle in here too. And like I said before, I usually have two pairs of point shoes rather than one. But I took those out for the meantime because they're very, very, very dead. Like, unsafe to dance in. And that concludes my dance bag tour. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give me a like, maybe subscribe to my channel if you want to, and tell me in the comments what is in your dance bag, what kind of dance bag you use, or if you want to see more dance videos in the future. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.